Jeg er Grete fra Scandinavia. Today I'm going to make a delicious cinnamon bread. And let's mix all the ingredients together. It's actually pretty easy. And of course it's going to look really pretty because I'm twisting it. So here are the ingredients for my cinnamon bread. I'm going to use two cups of flour. And in there I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar. All right. And to that I'm going to add two and a half teaspoons of yeast. That's one, two, and a half teaspoon. Okay, and I'm adding it to the flour because what I'm using today is bread machine yeast. But if you have active dry yeast, a package of that, it's a one quarter ounce you need. And of course that you want to heat up in warm milk. Okay, so here we have it. And then I'm going to add one whole egg, half a cup of warm milk. And then for the cinnamon filling, six tablespoons of butter. I'm going to use about half a cup of brown sugar. Then I will use approximately three teaspoons of cinnamon and one teaspoon of cardamom. As you probably know, with Scandinavians, we like to use cardamom a lot. So let's mix it all up now. And I'm going to use my electric mixer. So here's the flour with the sugar and also the yeast. As I mentioned, I already added that. So let's stir it up a little bit. And uh, now I'm going to add the half a cup of warm milk. And also, I have about approximately, I forgot to mention that earlier, five tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, and then we add the whole egg. So mix it up a little bit, and of course I'm going to use the mixer. I should tell you I ended up using three quarter cup of milk instead of half a cup. It seems like half a cup is not quite enough for this portion. So I poured the batter out of the bowl and I work it by hand for a couple of minutes. So now I finish kneading the dough by hand. So I'm going to let it rest for about an hour, cover it up and I'll keep it in a uh, kind of warm place. So the dough was resting for about an hour. Punch it down and I'm going to roll it out. And I'm going to roll it out pretty thin. So now I'm spreading the butter on top of the dough. This has to be all over completely. So you see I have the butter spread all over and now we add the five tablespoons of brown sugar on top of that. And just sprinkle it all over. In fact you can also kind of spread it out with a knife. And on top of that, I'm going to add uh, three tablespoons of cinnamon. Okay, that was two. And I like a lot of cinnamon, so here goes another one. And that should be sufficient. <laughs> and actually, I'm also using one teaspoon of cardamom. And sprinkle it all over too. Gives it a nice touch. So let's make sure it gets. Okay, so now I'm going to 
roll it up And now I have to slice the bread in half so I can twist it. squeeze a little bit together. Before it's I twist it, I squeeze it. And now I fold it over so it becomes a braided bread. The other part goes over, so just keep doing that with the whole bread. And then I'm going to put it in the baking form. And then I have to squeeze the end pieces together. Okay. And now I place the braided bread in a pan and I'm going to let it raise again for about an hour before I bake it. I'm going to put the bread in the oven, but first I'm going to brush it with some milk. You can also use an egg white. Okay. And then I'm going to sprinkle it a little bit more with cinnamon sugar. And now I'm sticking it in the oven at a degree of 480. Well, here you see the cinnamon bread in the oven and it is nice and brown. So I am going to take it out now. So here we have the delicious cinnamon bread. And of course I need to let it cool down before I can taste it. And here you see my cinnamon bread. I think it looks delicious and let's have a bite. And of course I have to slice my bread and uh, have a nice piece today for my coffee. Here you see there's a little cinnamon inside it and it looks good. Of course you can put butter on it, uh, it might not be necessary, it's up to you what you think will work the best for you. Enjoy!